stories for today. Monday, October 4th, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, Oculus, and Messenger unexpectedly went down. Users reported an error message on all of these platforms at around 11.40 a.m. saying these services aren't available. The outage lasted five hours before some services came back to life. Facebook's last big outage was in 2019, lasting for a whopping 24 hours. A Cicero man was arrested early Monday morning inside an East Syracuse hotel due to gunshots being heard in room 216. Police investigations say that in room 216, they found a silver unloaded handgun, numerous cell phones, and personal papers, along with a bullet and a hole found in room 214 that seemed to be fired from room 216. Melody Tolini and Javon Modix were the registered occupants of room 216. Multiple offenses have been charged on both of them. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The morning weight room will be closed on Wednesday, October 6th. On Thursday, the weight room will be open from 3 to 5 p.m. because of the half day. Please contact Coach X Monster or Coach Hayes with any questions. Today there Today there will be a chance of showers with a high of 66 and a low of 55. Tomorrow it will be sunny with a high of 71 with a high of 71 and a low of 56. And Thursday there will be a high of 74 and a low of 59. And I'm Abby with your weather. The field hockey team beats Whitesboro in overtime 3-2, goals in regular time being scored by Amber Zelenskis and Jenna Orlando. And in the first minute of overtime, Jenna Orlando scored another goal being assisted by Riley Murphy. The volleyball team took a tough loss last night to FM 2-3. The Los Angeles Chargers beat the Las Vegas Raiders last night 28-14. Justin Herbert was 25-38 throwing for 222 yards and three touchdowns. Austin Eckler ran for 117 yards and one touchdown with the loss to Arizona are the undefeated team in the NFL. The AL wild card game is at 8 tonight as the New York Yankees head up to Boston to play the Boston Red Sox. In upcoming games, the tennis team has their rescheduled sectionals match today at Auburn at 3.30. Both golf teams play Oswego at 3.30. The gymnastics team has a meet against Whitesboro at home at 5.30. The boys' soccer team plays Cortland at home at 6. The girls' soccer team plays Cortland away at 7. And I'm Ryan with your sports. That's our show. Have a great Tuesday.